Okay, good morning. I tried to video you. I got, I got cut out again. Um, so I have to start again. So uh, anyway, we'll, we'll, we'll run with it. Um, okay, so I have a message. Uh, I'm not sure whether I'll pull cars on it or just give you the message. Um, so I've got um, well, the higher ups are watching upcoming artists and musos and, um, you know, like people that are, um, that are, you know, like got platforms uh, and, um, uh, you know, people that are, you know, talents, new talents with their own agenda, you know, not, uh, so the higher ups are what, watching, um, watching the, um, up-and-coming people on the platforms because um, they um, they are worried and so a lot of um, a lot of uh, um, a lot of famous people that are on the platforms are watching those that are not famous uh, but talents because um, so they try to control um, their views and things like that all the time because um, you know like they want they, they don't want to get knocked out of their spot they want to be on the top because people are always looking for the next best thing and you know like people I think are getting are, um, are getting um, like tired of the the fake shit right you know the stuff that's put out there in the, in the, in, 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 on the platforms and that in the um, higher up industries Mo people are watching more and more of the just real people out there doing their thing uh, rather than you know like the, the, the highly um, uh, processed and um, agenda filled um, uh, uh, entertainment right so people are looking more of um, re real humans. <laughs> uh, so the people that are on those um, higher levels, um, uh, uh, you know, that are controlled by the industries, are um, actually worried about getting the uh, getting knocked off their spot. So uh, because you know people are always looking for that next new thing, right? So I've always been a trendsetter myself. So I've always had people copying and double gangers and all that sort of stuff. I've always uh, been different, right? Because I've always just been who I am. So, um, uh, you know, you get a lot of um, jealousy, copycats and all that kind of thing. So, um, but what I've got here on my message, what I got yesterday. So uh, the platforms uh, we've been blessed with and we have been blessed with them. We've been blessed with this ability to be able to share uh, without having to be an authority, you know? Uh, although a, a lot of us um, uh, um, uh, are authorities in what uh, we do. Um, but not, um, uh, not um, from the given authorities by the um, industry higher-ups, if you know what I mean. So it's more like the public, a public authority. So um, it's more like a, um, a demographic um, uh, way of being when you, you are actually being viewed for who you are, rather than it being manicured and uh, overproduced and uh, and that kind of thing you know what I'm saying so um, so there's people that are actually in the higher ups um, that are promoting specific things um, which are demonic right so I'm just going to read to you what I've actually got written here because uh, I, I keep going off on a m more and more information <laughs> so I'll just read what I've got first right so the platforms we've been blessed with uh, must be used in a responsible way because people have to start behaving like human beings, right? Because, you know, the industries have got people, you know, like out there doing all this demonic stuff, you know, like praising the devil and, you know, all this, this is dangerous shit because whatever is being um, projected and put out there 
this is how you, this is how an alchemist manifests, right? So for the masses, so if you've got people out there, you know, dressing up as fucking Satan and shit like that, and horns and promoting uh, hurt and injustice and not caring and you know fucking and sucking and um, you know like you know like I even know. You know, like in my community, there were, somebody even got arrested for fucking chickens. You know what I mean? Like, where where does that fucking end? You know? So, uh, anyway, that's just taking me off on a tip. Let me get back to what I'm reading here, right? But think about that, right? Like, so um, the shift has to change, right? Because of what's being promoted out there. Um, in all uh, areas, you know, what, uh. so these platforms, um, so where am I saying here, so yeah, so they have to be used responsibly because people have to start behaving like human beings, right, like not fucking chickens, you know, or children, so what our children consume is what they aspire to, is what they become, you know. So if you've got um, children, uh, you know, watching this stuff stuff on the TV or whatever, you know, like or especially like all this fucking uh, really gross, um, degrading behaviour of women and or well, everyone really men and young people, you know, like degrading. You know, like people, um, even their music videos where they they all have to get up there in their underpants, you know what I mean, and strut around and it's all about fucking and sucking and, 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 and violence and not caring about the next person. It just winds me up, like, anyway, so, this, and if you've got little kids, the little, think about, um, what we've got in our society and what um, is happening around us and why because it's all in our living rooms not just in our living rooms but on our phones and you know like we're constantly and our children are constantly being bar bombarded with all this um, disgusting and demonic uh, energy which is what they become because that's what they cons consume right so what you consume is what you put out, and what you put out is what you receive, you see? So, uh, so there's only a few that can see outside the matrix, right? There's only a few people who really know what's going on and have the opportunity to thrive off the gifts that God gave them. So that is, um, you know, those people that have been given gifts to be able to create and this is like um, create anything, like creating with the hands, you know, artists, uh, music, uh, cooking, uh, text, writing, anything that we consume, that we create that we can consume. So it's really important that um, those people that are the promoters, the content creators, the uh, the physical creators of, um, you know, tangible things and uh, uh, entertainment, infotainment. This is the programming that we put into our children. And, you know, like most of our children are learning how not to have our skills, to just go and um, get what they call a real job that doesn't actually contain any skills, you know, like not physical, tangible skills, hands-on skills, you know, they've been taught to be fucked hard, useless people that can't do fuck a jack, so when, you know, like they have no abilities, because they've learnt uh, this by constantly in the, um, 
in the platforms and the entertainment, whatever we're watching on screen, it's not the real world. So, for those that do have tangible uh, abilities, gifts, have to or should be um, teaching, okay? Teaching the children what is the right way of being and creating. Creating is um, create, create, creativity is productive and positive. Um, destruction leads to, you know, and negativity. Destruction and neg leads to chaos, and tragedy, and nothingness, and misery without hope. So, if you can tap into your creativity and share your creativity with the world, this is what you're supposed to be doing with. Um, so whatever skill you got, it needs to be shared because the next generation need to be re-educated because this, um, what we've been in, um, I don't know, in the last few decades, a long time, right? Is this programming leading to nothingness, right? Um, so, so there's those few that have been given gifts that uh, you know God's given us to um, uh, to create, become sovereign, become independent with the authentic, authentic, <laughs> become independent with the authentic, author I don't even think I'm saying that, but talents you have, authentic talents that you have, right? If God gives you gifts, we're meant to use them. We use those gifts. An artist is a cultural leader. You hear me? An artist is a cultural leader. Now, what what um, has happened within the industries is that there's these powers that be that want to promote a specific agenda has uh, taken on the power above the creator, which is the, 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 the artists, the cultural leaders who work with God, who actually have the gifts been given because God trusts those people, right? To uh, produce um, what is good for all of us. So the industries took hold of, you know, they, they took hold of the artists, the musicians, the people that are on the platforms. Um, and um, make them uh, work to their agenda and they corrupt them and they use um, like blackmail and stuff like that to corrupt them to to push their uh, their um, dangerous uh, agenda um, but now that we have these platforms which is public all of us um, can be creators, uh, so it's very, very important that what we create is what we want to live and we want our world to be, because if you're promoting, you know, death and destruction, then that is what we're going to get, because we are the manifest, we're co-creators with God. Okay, that's what we, um, we, we, um, here for. So, God gives us these gifts because he trusts us. And we have purpose to how we are supposed to use them. We have purpose, some of us, that recognize this. These people that are promoting a life of disease, depression, and death to our people, our peoples are uh, to expect God's wrath. They will suffer these manifestations because that is how manifestation works, right? 
what we promote is what we receive. They know this, right? So they try to suppress us with a, those with the, um, the direct connection from God to, you know, those that have been given the real gifts, those that actually are the real creators, right? But we've been given gifts and we use them correctly. If you're using your gifts for darkness and destruction and chaos, for the promotion of those things, you're going to receive that in your world, in your life. Because this is how manifestation works. So they try to suppress those that are promoting growth and creativity and positivity and love and hope and faith. God's agendas, right? They don't want us to know, they don't want us to show them up for their demonic agenda. And that's why they get on our platforms and they, you know, mess with our, um, our um, you know, our stats and, um, you know, they've taken links out and all that kind of thing so that we can't monetize our sites. Um, this is a, uh, this is why I put um, my PayPal link in the description box so that you can copy and paste that and put it into Google and go straight to the PayPal because they won't allow me to link because they don't allow, because they got control of what the stats are, right? So even though a lot of people might be watching, it doesn't come up on the stats because, and, that, and I can see that because it's all inconsistent. It's not like, it's not consistent the way it's, being seen. Um, yeah, so if you're not promoting their agenda, they, um, you know, will fuck with your platform. So we've got to um, uh, recognise that and understand that and find other ways to get around those things. So they take pure people and violate them to become possessed by their entity attachments. So, um, this has been going on for many, many years in a different way, but now that we're all on a screen, it's so much easier to use the MK Ultra um, tactics to, um, you know, like program our children and ourselves and use our triggers to turn us off and on at will to behave in certain ways. That's what they can do, like that. They can make you go and, you know, fuck your neighbour, just like that. Or they can make you go and fuck chickens like that. And they think it's funny. Hmm? Because they overtake the mind and to overtake, they get in the brain and um, make people do things like puppets, you know, shit that they, you know, like the, hmm, stuff that they wouldn't even do when they wake up out of this hazy whatever the fuck they're in. It's, it, it is um, the programming that we are getting through social media, you know, the shit that people watch, the shit that people produce. Okay, they share sex demons that are attachments that spreads chaos magic for an ultimate agenda of destruction. That's my bottom line there. This is channeled message. Right? So let me just say that again. They share sex demons that are attachments that spreads chaos magic. So for an ultimate agenda of destruction, of nothingness, your destruction, the consumer's destruction. Um, so the attachments, um, you know, like they use um, sex magic through the media to hypnotize people into behaving in certain ways that causes chaos. Yeah, wow. That's pretty heavy, right? Now, 
this is um, where, uh, you know, whole communities and cities and countries have been corrupted with this shit. So I'm going to... Um, I'm going to uh, just pull a few cards, or maybe I should leave it at that. I think I'm just going to, um, I'm just going to pull like a couple of these oracles and that's it, because I want to keep this, these um, videos short, because um, they seem to be, you know, like people's attention spans are that small these days. Uh, I um, can only watch for a few minutes. <laughs> okay, so yeah, so... What we're talking about here, spirit, remove, remove all negative energy imprints. That's exactly what I'm talking about, right? So what we've been in, what's been implanted in our brains through these uh, portals of uh, social media and TV and movies and shit. We've got um, Looney Lunar Sister, right? And look, that person there is over here, like vomiting you know like that's people getting you know like getting intoxicated and um you know like um uh you know behaving you know like you, you've no control let's get wasted you know what i mean that sort of thing has to be pulled back into control we've all been guilty of it right but it, this is um but we need to remove um these negative energy imprints um, that have been placed on us. Um, yeah, so we need to, <laughs> so that we can manifest and dream big, right? So what what we've been programmed to do is to, um, to go along with whatever we've been implanted with, right? And it's, you know, like the advertising, you know, like whatever we see, um, you know, I, mean, I did graphic design at TAFE years ago, and they um, they teach you how to um, uh, they teach you actually how to um, uh, deceive people through advertising, making people want things that they don't really want or need, spend money, um, give up their bodies, give up their health to consume things that's not good, right, for ourselves. Um, so this is, um, yeah, remove all negative energy imprints. That's what that is, the programming. Wake up, wake up, wake up. Because then we can dream big and manifest. We can put all that behind us because we've all been through all this stuff. Right. We all have these um, negative energy imprints from uh, hundreds of years of um, abuse, right? I mean, our country was developed off of sex magic. You know, uh, rape and pillage is a war tactic to suppress the masses and keep them in control. So, um, but once we realise this, and um, you know, learn how to um, love ourselves and uh, be mindful of what we're doing, and not just willy-nilly going along with everyone, right? We can then manifest whatever it is, whatever we want, because we can um, promote it just the same way as they have promoted all this negative advertising and behaviours in our world that's caused all this destruction and war and fighting and, you know, like the mass media and that has um, just caused um, uh, divide and conquer and chaos magic, right? So now that we know this, we can um, move away from it and begin to bring in um, what we want. So if we focus, this is the exciting bit, right? Because um, we can be and um, do promote a new world uh, that is um, healthy and alive and living and fun and exciting, not um, 
dark depression of hatred and jealousy and you know believing that only those people um, that have been promoted by the the, um, the so-called authorities which are not really authorities at all they're like the bottom of the barrel demonic entities demonic energies that's what's been taking over our world but, um, you know like a certain amount of people small amount of people actually 144,000 have been chosen to manifest to come on and, and come in and create a new world by manifesting what is right and good by God what is right and good by God is a creator he's not destructive oh he can be destructive to those who uh, promote that and want you know like what I'm saying what you project towards other people or you know to your environment around you whatever is what you will receive and that's the that's the way um, God works you know it's the law of nature so if you um, if you shit in your own bed you've got to lie in it right it's stupid so it's stupid to be um, you know like putting ourselves through this dark energy this you know like not giving a fucking thrown up on the pavement sort of shit to uh, bliss and you know what can we imagine into our reality flying saucers and going for a fly in space or imagine that we're in a waterfall and a stream you know like whatever it is we you know like loving and caring relationships nice energy you know like you know like because this what we're in has um, just created so much hatred and jealousy and bitterness and immorality and um, destruction, you know? So, it's time for us to create and change this way of being. So. Um, anyway, so I'm going to leave that as our message, um, our message from God. And guess what he gave me today? Like, I went from a walk down the river there today, and he um, let me see this stone. Look at this. This is great. I, I don't know what kind of stone it is, um, but look at the colour of it. And look, complementary colour, right, with orange. But the green is for the heart chakra. You know, so that's to clear the heart, right? Have a heart. The green is for the heart, and the orange is for the solar plexus. That's creative energy, creativity, and from the heart. Creativity from the heart. That's what these colours represent. So we have our heart chakra here, it's opening. Oops. Open it, open it, right? So that uh, we can create a heartfelt world, you know, open the heart, don't be bitter and closed anymore to positive energy, creative energy, create, clear the chakra of the sacral, which is your creative, and your heart. We've got to clear all our chakras and energies right right through our body. But this is what we're talking about today. Okay. So anyway, let's leave it there. And um, let's hope this... No, I have faith that this message will get out there and um, be productive. Okay? Alright, have a lovely day. I know I'm going to.